Ever puzzled over why certain expressions of affection strike a deeper chord with you? This is because we all have unique ways of giving and receiving love, which are known as our love languages. These languages are our personal keys to understanding how we communicate affection, whether it's through words of affirmation, quality time, acts of service, physical touch, or receiving gifts. Just as we have different spoken languages, so too are our love languages distinct and varied. They are the silent whispers of our hearts, the subtle cues that guide us in expressing our deepest emotions. And when we comprehend our own love language and that of our partner, we unlock a whole new level of intimacy and understanding. This understanding can significantly enhance a couple's relationship, helping to navigate the often complex world of emotional communication. How can we navigate and strengthen our bond through love languages? Let's dive in. Our first tip is to identify your love languages. Just as we have different languages around the world, love too has its own languages. These languages are ways in which we give and receive love. They come in five forms, words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service, and physical touch. Understanding your own love language is crucial. It's like having a key to your own heart, knowing what truly makes you feel loved and valued. But the journey doesn't end there. It's equally important to understand your partner's love language. This is the key to their heart. It helps you understand their emotional needs, what makes them feel cherished and cared for. This is not about changing who you are, but adapting to the ways your partner feels loved. It's about growing together and strengthening your bond. Remember, love is not just about feeling, it's also about understanding. Knowing your love languages is the first step towards a deeper understanding and connection. Our next tips revolve around communication and mindfulness. Picture this, you've discovered your love languages, you're excited, eager to share, but how do you broach the subject? Well, it's simpler than you might think. Start by communicating openly. Share your love language with your partner in a way that is sincere and straightforward. There's no need for grand gestures or dramatic revelations. A simple conversation where you express your needs and desires can do wonders. Now, this might feel a bit awkward at first, but remember, it's about creating a space where both of you can express yourselves freely. It's about understanding and appreciating each other's unique ways of giving and receiving love. It's about being honest about what makes you feel valued and cherished. So don't hold back. Open up about your love language and in turn, encourage your partner to do the same. But communication doesn't end there. It's a continuous process. After all, understanding each other's love languages is not a one-time event. It's a journey of discovery. And that brings us to our next point, mindfulness. Being mindful means paying attention to the subtle cues your partner gives. It means noticing when they're reaching out for connection in their love language. Maybe they're spending more time on tasks you usually do, hinting at their love language of acts of service. Or perhaps they're showering you with compliments, a sign of words of affirmation. By being mindful of these cues, you can learn to respond in ways that resonate with them. Remember, love languages are not just about how we express love, but also how we interpret it. So, be observant, be patient, be open to learning and adapting, be mindful of the ways your partner communicates love and how they wish to receive it. So there you have it. Two simple yet powerful tips to navigate the world of love languages, open communication and mindfulness. By embracing these, you're not just speaking your partner's love language, you're also fostering a deeper, more meaningful connection. Remember, open communication and mindfulness are key to speaking each other's love languages effectively. Now, let's explore different ways to express love. Love is a language that can be spoken in numerous ways, and it's vital to understand that not everyone communicates love in the same manner. There are five primary love languages, quality time, acts of service, physical touch, words of affirmation, and receiving gifts. For those whose love language is quality time, it's all about giving your undivided attention. This could be as simple as a walk in the park, a movie night at home, or just sitting together sharing thoughts and dreams. It's less about what you do and more about being fully present and engaged. Acts of service, on the other hand, is about showing love through actions. This could mean doing something as simple as making a cup of coffee for your partner in the morning, taking care of a chore they dislike, or cooking their favorite meal. These acts of service, no matter how small, demonstrate your love and commitment. Physical touch can be a powerful way to express love. A hug, a gentle touch on the arm, or holding hands can speak volumes about your love. It's not always about grand gestures. Sometimes it's the subtle moments of physical connection that reinforce your bond. Words of affirmation involves verbalizing your love and appreciation. 
It's about telling your partner what you love about them, praising them for their qualities, and acknowledging their efforts. A simple, I love you or I appreciate you, can go a long way. Lastly, for those who speak the love language of receiving gifts, it's not about materialism. It's about the thought and effort behind the gift. A handwritten note, a surprise treat, or a carefully selected gift can show your partner that you know them and value them. Remember, it's about showing love in ways that resonate with your partner, not what you find most comfortable. It's about stepping out of your comfort zone and speaking their love language, to show them just how much they mean to you. Our next tips are about respect and patience. In the journey of understanding and speaking your partner's love language, respecting their boundaries is paramount. It's like learning a new language. You wouldn't expect to be fluent overnight, would you? Similarly, understanding your partner's love language takes time, and it's important to respect their pace and comfort zone. Imagine you're learning French. You wouldn't want someone to rush you into speaking it perfectly, would you? The same goes for love languages. If your partner's primary love language is physical touch, but they're not comfortable with public displays of affection, it's crucial to respect that boundary. It's about showing love in a way that feels safe and comfortable for them, not just what we're comfortable with or prefer. This brings us to our next point, patience. As the saying goes, patience is a virtue. And it's especially true when it comes to love languages. It takes time to get accustomed to showing love in a different way, and it's okay to make mistakes along the way. What matters is that you're making an effort and are willing to learn and grow. Now let's talk about celebrating milestones. Maybe it's your first anniversary, or you've just moved in together. These are special moments that deserve recognition, and what better way to celebrate than by speaking your partner's love language. If their love language is receiving gifts, a thoughtful present might be the way to go. Or if it's quality time, a special day out together could be just the ticket. Lastly, consistency is key. Just like you wouldn't only speak French one day a week if you were trying to become fluent, you shouldn't only speak your partner's love language occasionally. It's about consistently showing love in a way that resonates with them, building trust and deepening your connection over time. With patience, respect and consistency, speaking each other's love languages can become second nature. Our final tip is about feedback. Feedback is the cornerstone of any successful relationship. It's essential to check in with your partner regularly to ensure that your efforts in speaking their love language are meeting their needs and making a positive impact on your relationship. This isn't just about asking if they liked the surprise dinner you prepared or the heartfelt letter you wrote. It's about understanding their feelings, their reactions, and their comfort levels. Feedback is a two-way street. It's about listening as much as it is about asking. When your partner shares their feelings, listen with an open heart and mind. Understand where they are coming from and how you can better meet their needs in the future. This is where active listening comes into play. Show empathy, understand their perspective, and validate their feelings. Remember, it's not about finding a solution or fixing a problem. It's about understanding and acknowledging their feelings. It's also about being open to feedback yourself. Recognize that there's always room for improvement. You may not always get it right, and that's okay. What matters is your willingness to learn, to adapt, and to grow. Be open to constructive criticism and take it in stride. Use it as a tool to better understand your partner and to improve your relationship. In summary, the journey of understanding and speaking each other's love languages is a continuous one. It doesn't end with identifying your love languages or expressing love in different ways. It's a lifelong process of learning, understanding, and growing together. It's about being open to change, being patient with each other, and being committed to making your relationship work. By following these tips, you can significantly enhance your relationship by understanding and speaking each other's love languages. Remember, love languages are not about you, but about how you can make your partner feel loved and appreciated. So, let's keep the conversation going, seek feedback and continue growing together in love.